warning from a middle school student may have averted a violent tragedy. Take a look at what investigators say they discovered at a classmate's home in Vadness Heights. Dozens of guns, ammunition, even explosives. WCCO's Reg Chapman explains how a threat against one student landed a teenager and his parents behind bars. Guns, ammunition, and explosive devices, all taken from the house on DeSoto Street where a 13-year-old boy lives with his parents. Ramsey County Sheriff Jack Sarir says the boy threatened a classmate at the Academy of Sciences and Agriculture in Badness Heights. The student that was threatened subsequently told their parent about the threats to them. And the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office was contacted by the parent and began an investigation into this threat. Armed with an investigative search warrant, sheriff deputies entered the teenager's home and found him home alone, but that wasn't all they found. In the home, a cache of weapons was found, along with at least one ballistic vest, thousands of rounds of ammunition, and at least one explosive device. Some of the weapons were not secure, and a 13-year-old had access to them, so deputies arrested his parents. The teenager's school sent a note home to family saying the incident involved a group of 7th and 8th graders. The sheriff says there's no longer a threat to the school or the public. I'm glad they found out about it. Shocked is not the word neighbor Julie Beresford says she would use in describing her reaction. It seems sad, I guess, in the in the wake of events, especially with a lot of the recent shootings. It's just, I mean, I can't, I guess I can't say I'm surprised one way or the other, but it's just, it's unfortunate to hear about. Sheriff Sarir encourages everyone to take any threats seriously. He also hopes the arrest of the boy's parents sends a strong message to gun owners with children. It is the responsibility under law for all adults who have guns in their homes to keep them secure and away from minors. To not do so invites tragedy. Chris and Lisa Stowe are behind bars here at the Ramsey County Jail. They face charges of negligent storage of a firearm. Their 13-year-old son is also in custody, and police are not releasing the information about the threat that he made to his classmate. In St. Paul, Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News.